Hey YouTube, this is Tom at TM Aquatics and in today's video, just a quick public service announcement in case you're thinking about or already have purchased one of these Inkbird temperature controllers for your aquarium. You don't want to miss this one, trust me, so stick around and check this out. Alright YouTube, again the purpose of this video is to simply talk about a serious design flaw with these Inkbird temperature controllers. It is not to talk about the features, how they operate, and what a temperature controller does. I'm going to assume if you're watching this video you already have one of the temp these temperature controllers on your aquarium. The problem in these units lies in the probe. This probe here with this metal housing is not designed for continual submerged operation. And that came straight from Inkbird customer service. It appears that where the joint is with this metal probe and the black rubber piece here, this lead, moisture can eventually work its way up into the probe, causing it to send a false return back to the temperature controller. Now there's a couple things that Inkbird said you can do and the good news is they've been easy to work with and they'll send you a replacement probe. I'll talk about that here in a few minutes. But if you still have one of these units with this metal probe, there's a couple of things they said that you can try to extend the life and uh, prevent a failure. All right, YouTube, there are two things that Inkbird customer service suggest I try if you have these metal probes. First thing is turn the probe so it's pointing upwards like this here. This is going to uh, prevent any water from getting up inside of the probe. No different than if you took an empty water bottle, had it filled with air, turn it upside down so the opening's on the bottom, stick it in a tank of water, and no water is going to go into the bottle. It's going to stay full of air. So that's the first thing they suggest, or one of the things they suggest you can do. The other thing they suggested, and it's hard to see in this video and uh, the angle that I'm at, but the other thing they said is to completely cover the probe in silicone. So that probe back there has a uh, is completely coated in silicone. And uh, that was the second thing they said that you could try doing photobomb by the Praycox Rainbows. Okay, so here's the good news. If you have an Inkbird temperature controller that has the metal probe, Inkbird will send you a replacement probe, a new design that is 100% aquarium safe. You just have to do a little bit of work and take, you know, take the housing apart, remove the old probe from the unit, install the new probe, and you're going to be good to go. Inkbird has sent me 10 probes, which is more than I needed, but they sent me 10 probes to replace all of my metal probes. And so far, knock on plastic, they've all been working perfectly. So just want to make you guys aware if you do have these temperature controllers, because I have talked about these in previous videos, uh, you'll see, you'll find them on Amazon for $30, $35, and you'll notice in some of the listings, Inkbird says, for aquarium use, but these are not aquarium safe. They do have some new controllers out. I believe it's only the 306 model right now that already comes with the new revised probe. But again, they've been very easy to work with. Their customer service has been fantastic. They've sent me out a ton of new probes. I've already swapped a bunch around. I just have a couple more to go. I think three three more to go. This one and then the two that I showed you in the video. Uh, I just need to swap those out. And then all of my temperature controllers will have the new probe on. So anyways, just want to make you guys aware of that. If you have one of these and it hasn't failed yet, do yourself a favor. Don't wait for it to fail. Contact Inkbird now. Send them an email and I'll post the email right here. Contact Inkbird customer service, have them send you a new probe, take five minutes, rewire your controllers, and you'll be a lot better off. Anyways, hope this helped you out. 
you have any questions or comments, post them down below in the description. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And uh, until the next one, guys and gals, we'll catch you later.